Hi everybody, today we're going to be dealing with a common problem which is how do you get a nice straight line when painting two contrasting colors on a textured wall. How do you get that that seam nice and straight and I'll show you a really good way to do that. Alright, here are my two contrasting colors. We have kind of this dark orange color and this is more of a light tan and you can see this is a pretty common texture. This is a, called knockdown splatter and we did this one right here you can see it's done kind of badly uh, this we used a, one of those uh, foam brushes with the two wheels on it and it did not work very well because the edge of the brush uh, the little hair edges sometimes pick up the paint and we'll you'll get it on the other wall in addition to the little brush with the wheels on it we also tried some painters tape but the problem is with the texture the tape uh, wants to follow the texture and go in and out of the bumps and you'll get, if it's not on there perfectly, sometimes the paint will flow underneath. And even if it is perfect, the little bumps will show and you'll get what looks like a jagged line. Okay, so here you go. Here's the simple solution. We're going to put a bead of caulk right in that corner. Draw that down nicely. And smooth that out nicely with my finger. And... Dampen your finger, of course, on a wet towel it makes this a lot easier. But we're just going to make a nice curved surface in there. And what that's going to do is that's going to fill up the little gaps where the texture is, and it's going to give us a nice flat surface to put our painter's tape. Okay, the caulking's nice and dry and smooth, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the lighter color first. So go ahead and paint right over that caulking. Nice long strokes. And we're going to finish with the darker color because it's going to be much easier for the darker color to cover the lighter color. Okay, that's nice and dry now. So now we're going to tape it. Uh, get some good quality tape. This is a good 3M uh, edge seal tape. Uh, so let's put this on and we're going to put this on the light colored side and try to get it as close to in the middle as we can. Okay, there it is. Run your finger along the edge. Make sure it's nice and tight all the way down. And you'll see because we put that bead of caulking in there, there's a nice flat edge for the tape to seal against. You can see that right there. All right, now we'll go back and we'll paint the dark color and we'll see how it comes out. Okay, now we're painting the darker color. And the only thing you want to be careful of is that you don't goop up your paint too much. So you want to kind of dry it off a little bit on the wall here and then go down on the, the white area. Um, and then the other thing is that when you're using tape, you're supposed to take the tape off while the paint is still wet. Now in this case, uh, I'm going to do two coats because you can see it's not quite covering all the way. So I'm going to do two kind of quick coats, one after the other, and then take the tape off while the paint's still a little bit wet. Okay, that's had about five minutes to dry. I did two very light coats on it. Now very carefully, let's pull the tape off and see what it looks like. And there you go, a very, very nice straight line. I'll zoom in real close so you can see that coming off. See how pretty that is? And there you go, a very, very nice straight line. And then they're really close. You can see how straight that came out. Isn't that nice? And that's it. That's all you have to do to paint a really nice straight line between two contrasting colors. Have fun.